Okay, hey guys, welcome back to another Vaults video, and today I'm going to show you how to generate strange matter for your missiles for duplicating it uh, items, etc. So, let's get straight into this. You need electromagnets and electromagnetic glass, a particle accelerator, a form of power, i.e. an ultimate energy cube, and a piece of cable so that we can actually link it up. You're going to need a hopper and you're going to need a conveyor belt. And finally you're going to need some blocks so I'm going to use some sandstone. Okay, so now we're going to get to the building of our machine. First of all, dig a five long channel. One, two, three, four, five. And five along this way. Two, three, Four, five, two, three, four, five, just like so. Then, in the bottom of your channel, you're going to place electromagnets like this. There we go. Then you're going to get some more electromagnets, build along the sides, build along this side, build along this side. You don't need this one in the corner, so we can get rid of that. There we go. And then you can place one here. Then you're just going to need to get some glass, electromagnetic glass even, and run it across the top here, across the top here, and across the top here. Okay, that's step one. Okay, so we're back, and now we're going to be using our particle accelerators. You're going to place one here, facing into it, and you place one here, facing into the into the little thing that we've got going here. Then grab your cable, connect up your cable like this to an energy cube. I've got an ultimate an ultimate cube here. And then I'm just going to use an infinite battery as well, just to keep it powered. There we go. On to step three. Step three, build a wall of sandstone or blocks all the way around the outside, leaving a one block gap. Like this. Okay, that's the end of step three, I think I said, and we'll be back with step four. Okay. For step four, you're going to need to get yourself the conveyor belts, your hopper, and you're going to need to grab yourself a chest as well. Get your conveyor belts and run them along the end like this. Turn this way and go this way down the side. Then turn again and go that way down the side. Stopping when you get to the edge of the electromagnet. Here, you're just going to break these blocks. You're going to place a double chest and you're going to place a hopper on top of that. This is where your strange matter will collect. Now, simply grab a redstone and a lever so that we can activate our device. All you're going to need is a stack of blocks for each device. Insert it in and in here and turn it on. One piece of advice when you turn on your machine, make sure that you have reloaded the area. So that means uh, restarting your server or waiting for a server restart or exiting and re-entering the world which I'm going to do now. Okay, so I have now reloaded myself into the world. I would now advise getting yourself a hazmat suit. So I'm going to put on a hazmat suit like we have here. We're now wearing a hazmat suit. And now we can activate our device. Once you've activated your device, like I just flipped it on there, it will generate something like this that I'm holding in my hand, and it should be flung out the side of the device and will land on one side or the other of the conveyor belt. I will just wait temporarily until one generates, there we go, it gets flung out of the side, lands on the conveyor belt, the conveyor belt will simply transfer it along until it goes into the hopper and it will be placed in the chest. 
fairly consistent from a stack of cobblestone, you will get yourself about three or four or five ants massa. Depending on how well it works, sometimes it will work really well, sometimes it will slow down. It does depend on your server you're playing on and stuff like that. There you go, you saw another one generated. Now I'm going to show you how to automate this. Okay, so you're going to need to get yourself an ME controller, an ME chest, a storage drive, an ME basic export bus, in fact two basic export buses, an ME basic import bus, and an ME cable. Um, doesn't really matter what colour this is. So place down your ME controller on your power supply. Place down your ME chest as well. You're going to need to get your basic export bus and place these onto the tops of each of our particle accelerators. Get our ME cable and link this with our ME chest. From here, we're then going to need to get this to go along here to above where the chest is. Get our import bus, place that on the top of the chest, and then bring it up to join with the ME chest here. Insert your ME64K storage drive. This will automatically suck up any items that are inside that chest, so we generated two strange matter. And then also, we're going to need to get ourselves some cobblestone. Not cobblestone, I think we're using normal stone in here. But for whatever item you're using to power your machine, um, for your particle accelerator, stock up on this, place it all inside, inside of the ME chest, then inside these export buses here, place one of that item. It won't take it out of the reserves that you have. It will just say that that's what it's export exporting into the machine. And it will regen that up to 64 every time. So if I go into this machine here, I take out the stone. It automatically tops it up with stone. So there we go. That's just how that works. So in practice, here we are. We can turn this machine on. Hopefully, we'll generate strange matter relatively quickly so that we're not waiting for a long time. There you go, strange matter's been generated. That's going to flow all the way down here. You saw that we only had two strange matter in the system earlier. So, the strange matter is going to come down here, fall into the hopper, go into the chest, and then move up the ME system, and it'll be placed in here as three strange matter. And you can also see here that these are staying on 64 stone. Thank you for watching guys, that's been my Strange Matters tutorial, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Remember to like and subscribe if you found this helpful. Cheers guys, see you again. Peace.